It's my pleasure now to introduce the Goodwill Ambassador for China U.S. Exchange Award. This award recognizes a respected and distinguished leader for their remarkable and impactful contributions to a constructive and cooperative U.S.-China relationship. Mr. Hank Greenberg has made outstanding contributions to China's reform and opening up. Let's take a look at this video. I'm pleased to be here this evening to receive the award from the Chinese Chamber. Uh, we, have a, we have a long history with the Chamber here in the United States. There are now about 1,500 uh, Chinese companies doing business in the United States, and we started with them many years ago. And I've seen them grow. They create jobs and opportunities in our country, just as we do uh, in China with American companies and our own company. So it's, it's a great honor for me to receive this. Now, I've been asked to also talk a little bit about our history uh, in China, and my history particularly. I first went to China in 1975 uh, for a lot of reasons. Um, I saw China as now opening to the world, and our own company was founded in China in 1919 by C.V. Starr, and because he had to leave during the war and during the revolution that followed. But I thought that our history in China was important, and China was now beginning to open to the world. It was going to be slow, obviously, in the beginning, but I wanted to get there early on to understand what was happening and how we could benefit not only our own company, but help, help benefit China in doing so, which we did. I spent, from 1975, I would, I would go to China at least once, sometimes two or three times a year. Uh, the reason is we operated throughout uh, Southeast Asia as a company. So I would stop in China, either going or coming on almost every occasion. The only insurance company in China at that time, the Chinese company, was the PICC. It was a tiny company, uh, uh, but I got to know them and began to help them learn the insurance business. They had very little knowledge about what was going on in the insurance uh, sector. We trained them. We took them. We did them. Trained them both in China and outside of China. Uh, the man running it at the time was called Mao Mao Tung Sung. Uh, Mao Tung being not a Pepsi Cola, a very strong drink. And uh, but I learned to drink it <laughs> holding my breath. Uh, in any event, our history grew in China. Uh, we operate today in many provinces. Uh, we have a long history. Uh, we got the first uh, life insurance license in China, wholly owned for a foreign company. Uh, we helped the, the life insurance industry grow. It took me 20 years to get that license. Uh, but we, uh, in doing so, we introduced the agency system uh, for life insurance in China. It didn't exist before. Um, the then president of China said, uh, you helped create a million jobs in China uh, uh, because of the agency system. So we did many things to help China as we um, went to China in, in hoping that we would not only build a great company, but help China in doing so. So thank you for this, this award this evening. I'm very proud to receive it. I hope you have a nice evening. Thank you again. Thank you very much for the, for the award. I'm delighted to be here and very proud to be here. Our company, as I said in the, uh, that went before, uh, we, celebrate, we celebrate our 100th anniversary in China as a company last month in Shanghai. It was a great event, and I'm very proud of our company in China. 
But more important than our own company is the relationship between the United States and China. Yes, there's been several ups and downs, <clears throat> but I'm confident that the downs will disappear and the ups will, will survive. We need each other as two countries. <clears throat> it's a safe world if we're, if we're allies. It's somewhat different if we're not. And so all of us are working in the company. We work on that relationship to try and make it better than it is. I'm confident in the future. Thank you very much for the award. I'm, I'm pleased to receive it and happy to be here. Thank you.